So in this video, I'll be reacting to Lil Nas X's apology to Christians and everyone that has been offended by his new video, J. Christ. Hello, everybody. Um, I wanted to not necessarily apologize, but I wanted to explain like where my head at and where it's been for like the last week. So first of all, when I did the artwork, I knew like there would be some upset people or whatnot, uh, simply because, you know, religion is a very sensitive topic for a lot of people. To start out with, with this apology, I don't believe he's that sincere because he didn't come out and say, I'm apologizing for the things that I did. Um, who I portrayed in this video, the blasphemous nature of this video. I'm not surprised that he didn't directly apologize. And yes, religion is a sensitive topic. But to me, it's really not that sensitive to myself. I try to keep my emotions out of religion because the most important thing here is a true relationship with Jesus Christ. If you're a Christian, we're called to love unconditionally. However, we must call out the things that are wrong. I must call out the things that are wrong within myself in the actions that I take that are not conducive to a Christian lifestyle. Lil Nas X is not perfect. I'm not perfect as well, but I pray for Lil Nas X. I pray that someone around him will truly tell him about the gospel and the good news because he doesn't have to live this way. Yes, there's fame, there's money, there's access, but when his life is over, he'll have to account for his sins and his actions, just like you and I. So to start off with, I'm not surprised by his seemingly apology. It was not that. It was literally me saying, oh, I'm back. I'm back like Jesus. Like that was like the whole thing. I'm not the first person to dress up as Jesus. I'm not the first rapper. I'm not the first artist and I won't be the last. Um, He's right about that. Lil Nas X is not the first person that has dressed up as Jesus Christ or portrayed Jesus Christ, and he will not be the last. You have to understand here, there is a, a, a bigger picture that's going on here. And I've talked about this before. Spiritual warfare is running rampant. It has been going on for centuries, even before Christ. You have to realize that we're living in a fallen world and Lil Nas X and every other person who has not outwardly confessed their faith in Jesus Christ, they're of this world. Their actions are not conducive of a person who has put God and Jesus over their life. Jesus is not the Lord over Lil Nas X's life. So his actions were not reflect the kind of life that Jesus Christ would want us to live. And I know like given my history with, you know, the call me by a name video, anything that I do related to religion can be seen as like mockery. That just was not the case with this. And I will say though, with the communion video, with me eating the crackers and juice, I, uh, I thought that video was going to be the video to lighten the mood to take it down like less serious or whatnot. I thought that was something that we all wanted to do as kids or whatnot, but I didn't understand the idea of, um, you know, the reality of what it is. You know, it's me eating the communion, which is like the symbolism of like Jesus's blood and, and bones or something like that. I don't remember com completely, but um, communion is a a very important time and it's a very important act 
for those of us who are Christians, who believe that Jesus Christ died for our sins. He was pierced on the cross and he was resurrected for us to have eternal life. To break it down to you for everyone that may not be familiar with communion, the blood of Jesus Christ was shed for the entire world, not just for myself. It was shed for everyone who believes in him. Now at church, we drink juice. We drink grape juice, which symbolizes his blood that was shed on the cross for our sins. We also partake in eating a, a cracker, which symbolizes his body that was broken because of this ultimate sacrifice. And we do this in remembrance of the blessings that we now have. It's a remembrance of what Jesus Christ did on the cross. Henceforth, the good news, the gospel. What the world wants to do is just to warp and to belittle and to make a mockery of the precious blood of Jesus Christ that was shed on the cross. Now, for everyone that may not be a Christian and for everyone that may not have grown up uh, partaking in the communion, you may think that this is a joke, but it's very important to those of us who really have a true relationship with Jesus Christ. It's not a religion. It's not a practice. It's not a, a check the box type of relationship. It's a true relationship with the one and only true God who shed his blood on the cross as Jesus Christ for our sins. So I pray for a little Nas X's heart. I pray that someone will truly tell him about what communion truly means to those of us who are in Christ. It's like a cannibalism thing or whatever the freak. But I do apologize for that. I will say I am sorry for that. That that was overboard. Though I'm, I don't agree with all of Christianity's rules or whatnot. I know not everybody follows Christianity by the book 100% or, you know, the world would be a lot crazier. Um, but I do apologize for that. Uh, what was I going to say? This is not like to try. He's right. Everyone does not follow Christianity to a T. And the reason this is true is because we're all fallen creatures. We're all sinful human beings. Yes, we're all created in the image of God, but that's the true reason why God sent his only son to experience death on the cross for my sins and your sins because no one is perfect. The only one that's perfect is Jesus Christ, God himself. So for everyone, just like Lil Nas X said, the world would be even crazier. Yes, that's 100% true because God is allowing certain things to happen. The things that are to come in this world, we're not even at the tipping point. The Antichrist has not been ushered in per se. Yes, there's a millions and millions of people who are anti-Christ who do things that are completely opposite of what God would have us to do, but the Antichrist has not been ushered in. This world has not truly seen the turmoil and chaos that is going to come upon it because God is allowing certain things to happen. It's like a trickle effect. God has only turned that faucet just a little bit. Before long, no pun intended, all hell would break loose. So he's 100% correct in saying that the world would be so much worse. Try to get everybody on my good side or whatnot. This is more so to clear my own head about my own decisions. I know, I know like, you know, I, I messed up like really bad this time. Um, and I can act unbothered all I want, but it's, it's definitely like taking a mental toll on me. Uh, what else did I want to say? The mental toll that it has taken on Lil Nas X, yeah, that's important. We must 
talk about that for a few minutes. Spiritual warfare is real. It doesn't matter if Lil Nas X is a professing Christian or not. The devil has turned this world upside down. Satan has turned this world upside down. And mental illness is huge. There's even Christians who have a lot of mental ailments that are going on. And I'm not a doctor, so I'm not here to try to diagnose anyone. But the toll that it has taken, the toll that spiritual warfare has taken on the entire population is real. Because we're chasing after frivolous things. We're, we're chasing after temporary things. And the only thing that will bring us back to balance and reality is that peace and that tranquility that only Jesus Christ himself can offer. Now, of course, with accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, your life is not going to go without heartache and pain. But throughout that heartache and pain, Jesus and, and, and God is testing your faith. He's building up that endurance in you. So I encourage Lil Nas X to try God for himself. Pray to God in this moment that he would come into his life and that the Holy Spirit will wash away his sins. Because that's the, the foundation that we all need to have in order to get a, a, a peace and a clarity that passes all understanding. Um, I know this is not going to be like an immediate, like swift, everybody like moves forward or whatnot, but I do want my Christian fans to know that I am not against you. I was put on this earth to, you know, bring people closer together and promote love. And like, that's, that's who I am. I'm, I'm not like some, I'm not like some evil demon guy trying to destroy everybody's values and stuff like that. That's that's not me. Uh, what else was I going to say? Yeah, um, and also with the video, there's no disrespect there. I thought me clearly not being on the side of the devil in that video was the... I don't know, was, was like there was an understanding there that I'm not like trying to diss uh, Christianity. Um, what was I going to say? What else? Uh, this is this is this is also this is not like something I wrote down or whatnot. This is something off the top of my head. I'm trying to get out. Uh, lastly, again, I, I hope sooner or later we can move forward and I'm excited for the rest of uh this era and things I have planned and hey baby um yeah I mean that's that's all I have to say for right now I'm sending you guys love I'm sending my fans love I'm sending the people um who I heard love um yeah this is great this is great that we're talking about this because with Lil Nas X saying that he was put on this earth to bring people together and to spread love. That's exactly what God wants us to do. But there's a difference with knowing that and actually uh, uh, applying that according to the word of God. I don't fault Lil Nas X. He's immature. No one in his corner, well, hopefully so, but by the looks of things, a lot of people in his corner are just going along with the things that he's doing. They're promoting this stuff because it's bringing in a lot of money, it's bringing in a lot of fans and influence. And as I said before, the enemy is the author of confusion. The enemy comes in as a disguise as someone or, or, or something that appeals to the masses. But underneath everything, the foundation, there's no foundation there and everything is crumbling. That's why this world is, is, is passing away. Everything is fleeting. We're moving at 
a pace of 100 miles per hour, if you will, because it's all about the next thing. It's all about the next shiny object. It's no longer about the true meaning of Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross. God wants us to love unconditionally, but he also wants us to call out individuals and, and actions that are not conducive to his teachings. And of course, I'm going to continue to pray for Lil Nas X. I pray that he will experience the true love, the unconditional love of Jesus Christ. And also, as far as Christians, <clears throat> let's not be quick to, to bash. Let's be quick to listen and to understand where the majority of lost people are coming from. People are lost in this world. There's a lot of hurt in this world. So my encouragement to Lil Nas X and to individuals who think like him to ask what it truly means to have a relationship with Jesus Christ, to bow down and humble yourself in the presence of God and allow his love and his peace and his serenity to come over you. Because the world is passing away. The millions of dollars and the influence that Lil Nas X, all of that is passing away. And at the end of the day, we all will have to look God in the face and stand accountable for the things that we did on this side of earth. So let me know what you guys think. God bless. Take care.